Hi folks, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 36 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to build a portable emergency shroom shelter, or P-E-S-S -S for short. That's PESS. Now I had considered calling this a portable instant shroom shelter, but uh, oddly enough, every time I said the acronym, my mom smacked me. Don't know why, really. All right, let's get started before it gets dark. Now, why would you want to build a portable emergency shroom shelter in the first place? And what the heck is it? Well, with the advent of Minecraft Beta 1.8, there's a new feature here with mushrooms, and you can instantly grow these little guys into a massive, huge mushroom, they call it. And you can actually climb inside and, uh, well, you can live there for a short time. Then you can bust down the mushroom and recover more little mushrooms. So I've come up with this little kit. And again, I call it the PESS. So what you need for the kit is a piece of dirt, a mushroom, either red or brown, bone meal, and ladder pieces. I would start with about at least three. Now we can recover some of this for our kit. We'll be able to get the dirt back. Uh, because it's portable, we want to be able to recover this stuff and then be able to move on. So uh, the dirt and the ladders are recoverable. You're going to want quite a bit of bone meal or at least bones. Um, you really only need one or two mushrooms because we will be able to get more from the giant mushroom. And I'll demonstrate that in a minute here. Oh, okay. Now I am wet and tired. All right. So let's get started. Here we go. We're going to pretend I'm walking through the desert. I'm really hot. It's I'm tired. Monsters are coming out now. They want to turn me into uh, a poly saute. So I don't want them to do that. So I'm going to dig a little hole here, plop down my dirt. Put this guy down, get up close, right click, and there's my instant shroom shelter. But I'm not done yet because here they come. Here they come with their spatula, fork, and knives. Climb up, sit tight. But now before they come in, you're going to have to put down some flooring because you can still get shot up here. So a little bit of wood comes in handy. I didn't want to do that. Where's my axe? Oh, rain. That's okay. I'm in a mushroom. And there we go. Safe and sound. A little bit of light. Ah. Uh, shroom shelter extraordinaire. Uh, sit tight while I shut off that rain. Hold on. I've got connections upstairs. Be right back. Ah, there we go. I've got the big man on speed dial. Um, all right, rain is gone. Now let me um, talk about the different types of mushrooms. Now this is the red mushroom, um, obviously. Um, now sometimes when you build this guy, it'll be much lower. The cap portion up here may only be one up off the ground, and that's great. So if you're in here and you boop, and you've already have a, an instant wall all around you, only your feet will be exposed. You won't even need the ladder in essence. Um, but in this case, I got this one. I don't know if there's, um, if one's more common than the other, but you, just to be prepared, have the ladder ready and the flooring. So I suppose the flooring is going to ha have to be part of the kit. Um, but you should be carrying wood anyway. And if you're not, shame on you. Now to recover it, it's got our portable shelter back. So even if I have only one mushroom, actually sword is the best at this. It cuts through it fastest. You can bust up the mushroom with anything in your hands and you'll still get between zero and two mushroom drops. So as you can see, I'm recovering the mushrooms. So the only thing I'm not going to be able to um, recover from the shelter kit will be the, the bone meal. So like I said, it's a good idea to carry a few extra bones with you or just go kill some skellies. All right, let me show you the uh, the brown mushroom because the brown mushroom is a little bit different. Um, oh yeah, now you need the dirt because these mushrooms only work on dirt. In the pre-release, beta pre-release, it actually worked on anything. It was working on uh, cobblestone and regular stone and sand and so forth, but as far as I can tell, a 1.8.1, that's no longer the case. Okay, now I'm going to need ladder here. I don't have a ladder, but you get the idea. This is essentially just a platform. 
but it's a high platform so that that works well it's a high hide so it's really going to depend on your current environment you need a high ceiling for this one in fact i think they both grow about the same height i think this one may be a little bit wider you need a space roughly i'd say eight by eight by eight to make this work if you are surrounded by a lot of trees it may not work so you have to find kind of an open area let's head to the nether and i'll show you how this kit works well in the nether too you coming no chicken yeah bad of you too all right let's get the sh shrooms out difficulty normal okay monsters are on oh hello gonna need a little dirt this does work here by the way um in this type of environment, I think the mushroom with the cap works best. Ooh. What the? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop it. All right, let's get this ready now. Have to place that dirt quick. Quickly. Hurt me. All right, I haven't been spied yet. I'm good, I'm good. Wow. Plenty of ceiling space. Actually, I should probably dig down. I don't want to get knocked off here. Yeah, you do have to be careful there. You take a little bit of damage. You might want to stand back. All right, this so this is the high mushroom again. I was hoping to get one of the low varieties, but there you go. Pretty much, pretty much safe here in the Nether. I don't think he sees me. And once again. Now, I'm curious, is this thing, um, fireproof? Very nice! That was something I meant to test before the tutorial. But I forgot. So there you go. It's fireproof too. Fireproof portable... Ooh, I may have to change the acronym. We have to put that in there. It's a portable... Emergency fireproof shelf shroom shelter. What's that? PEFs? Portable emergency fireproof shroom shelter. PEFs. Alright. So that's pretty much it. Well, I think I think that's about it. I would like to try to get the other variety, however, the low variety. Let's see. Yeah, let's just go over here. There's plenty of dirt. Lots of mushrooms to try. Uh, swing and a miss. Yeah, funny. Nope. Whoa! Excuse moi Always interrupted in these tutorials. Alright, that's not the lowest one. This one's lower than the other one. A little bit by one block but again not the lowest okay one more try I just don't want mushrooms all over my demonstration area okay that boom let's back up a little well now I want to be inside come on low mushroom ah Dead. All right, well, I don't get a low mushroom. They're all high mushrooms. Let's give it the uh, fire test again. So there you have it. Portable, emergency, fireproof, shroom shelter. PEFs. Good luck. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you found this useful, go ahead and give me a like. I would appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.